please my social media handles and all the links are down below in the description box all right let's do this let's plan this wedding i know i know we said we were going to do it another time or like further down the line or something but i'm in the zone right now to plan a wedding i've been looking it up online i've been doing some research uh, I've got a little list of things which we can talk about now and sort of figure out, maybe pencil in some ideas. Nothing has to be set in stone, obviously, but I think it's the perfect time for it right now, right? Cool. All right. Fantastic. Um, let's not think about the budget really right now. Let's put that. We'll think. We'll, we'll think about that another time. Right now, let's just like focus on what we want for our wedding, um, and then we can try and fit it into the budget once we've got everything sorted. Fantastic. All right. Fantastic. Cool, 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 cool. No doubt. No doubt. No doubt. <laughs> um, so, f firstly, do we want like a spring wedding, a summer wedding, autumn, when autumn? Cool. Because I did deliberately pause on autumn there so that you like jump in with autumn. Cool. All right. Yeah. Autumn's great for me too. I love it. I've always liked the color scheme. You know, like those northeastern United States states, um, like Maine and New Hampshire and stuff. I've always loved the colours of their autumn, like, we don't really get those colours here, but, like, I've always loved, like, you know, the golden sort of orange and red and the, the mesh of the bright, it's all, like, very romantic, I've always loved it, I thought we could sort of incorporate that theme into our wedding, that sort of aesthetic, yeah, I'm not, I'm not saying we have, like, a destination wedding or anything, um, I think that's tricky, um, I mean, we can talk about having a destination wedding for sure, but I was thinking maybe we have like a local wedding, be easier for our friends and family to come and cool, yeah, all right, fantastic, glad you agree. Um, what I thought we could also do is to you know incorporate that sort of autumnal theme that those states have is you know we we could bring in a load of leaves and have them coloured you know golden orange and red and brown and stuff and uh, sort of strew them throughout. I was thinking an outdoor wedding as well, because that way it's easier for the theme to sort of work out. I have given it a bit of thought, not gonna lie. Yeah. But uh, yeah, so an outdoor wedding, I thought we could have those leaves thrown about and have sort of a color scheme through the wedding maybe, I don't know. That one's a bit, yeah. I don't know, we'll talk about that, we'll talk about that. So that could be fun, an outdoor wedding as well. Obviously weather dependent, that's the only thing we need to think about is the weather. Also, this wave is like an autumn-themed wedding. We could have it in any season. You, st you still want to have an autumn? That's fine. Maybe like late summer kind of thing. Yeah, because that way, like, the weather is still... It's like, we've, it's still kind of nice as well. Yeah, all right, cool. It's like a, a late summer wedding. Because the nights will still be long as well. You know, like, the, the really magical nights of summer where they just... They, they, they start late, but they keep... They, they last forever. You know, so that could be fun. All right, fantastic. All right, cool. Well, that's we'll pencil that in, put that down. Lovely. Next up, I was thinking we need to think about like a photographer or a videographer or something. Do we want that at this wedding? Like a, I mean, right? They they are expensive, sure. And everyone's got phones these days as well. So are we like, do we need to stage photos or? Okay, sure. Well, I mean, what we could do, my mum has, my mum's a photographer, as you know, and, well, she's got this, this great camera and things, so all we could do is, um, like, what we could do is, you know, stage the photos, you know, um, friends and family and us in our, in our get-ups, our nice wedding, you know, outfits, and, um, yeah, just sort of stand and take the photos and things, but at the same time, I had this idea that maybe... We could give everyone a disposable camera, right? And they just take photos, like, because I feel like candid photos are always so much more. They always have so much more in them, like, so much more personality. Right, yeah. And, um, so anyway, so we could get these disposable cameras, give everyone a disposable camera, and they take photos throughout the ceremony and the reception, and then afterwards, like, when everyone leaves, they give us the camera back and we get the films developed and choose our favourite photos and sort of make like a collage or something yeah I don't know it could be fun and everyone's got phones as well so they can just take photos on their phones and like you know send them to us and we'll put them in a Dropbox folder and look through them and choose our favourites again I, yeah I, I thought it was cool 
that's you know, <laughs> pretty good idea. But yeah, the only problem, yeah, that's, that is the thing, right? So the disposable cameras, obviously, there's the environmental factor there. Like, I don't want to just throw away a ton of disposable cameras because, right? So what I thought we could do with the with the the used cameras is at the end of it we sort of create something out of it, like an arts and crafts kind of project. Right, cool. Yeah, I thought it'd be fun. Like, also, like, anytime we look at it, we'd think, oh, yeah, that's from our wedding. Like, I don't know, we could make anything. I don't know, I haven't got any ideas yet, but that'd be fun. There's going to be a ton of disposable cameras left over, so. Cool. All right, fantastic. And a videographer, like, I think watching it sitting down on, like, a lazy Sunday afternoon years from now, it'd be nice to just sort of sit down and watch our wedding video. It's like, yeah, we could we could get someone to video the entire, I think that could be fun. Let's focus on hiring a videographer rather than a photographer because, right, cool, okay, yes, so we have the disposable cameras for photos, the phones, my mum's going to take some photos, and we'll hire a videographer for the video, and we'll pay for editing too, I, I don't really, I, okay, cool, yep, why not, awesome, alright, so yeah, um, we need an efficient, efficient, no idea about that. Literally not a clue. <laughs> yeah, we'll just get some, I don't know. Let, let's put that with the budget. I don't really know what we can think about there. All right. Um, with catering, uh, there's a lot to think about. Obviously, everyone's got different diets. So we need a, a vegan option, a vegetarian, um, meat option, obviously, um, gluten-free. All that stuff, dairy free, we need to think about. Um, no, we could choose foods that work. Like, I, I eat these really cool vegetarian burgers. Um, they're made from like soy. Um, and the, I, I don't think anyone would be able to tell the difference between these burgers and chicken burgers. 100%. These patties, burgers, patties, you know, I call them. Yeah, they're really good. I mean, you could always have like a beef and lamb option as well. Um, but for us, like, I don't know, or well, for me at least, like, we'd have those vegetarian chicken things, and cool. And obviously the gluten-free option for the celiacs and whatnot, the dairy-free for the lactose intolerant, or people who just choose to live by those diets. Yeah, I think probably spend the most on catering. I feel like food's really important, a big party, and drinks, obviously, very important. Open bar, necessary, not even good. Cool. Um, yeah. And I have all sorts of drinks, lemon lime bitters, beer, ginger beer, um, water, Cokes, Sprites, juice, need it all, you know. All right, fantastic. Yes. All right, cool. This is going to be a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to this a lot. All right, cool. And you, know, you can get those, like, pop-up pubs. You seen them? Like, you, yeah, there's, like, portable pub things. So that could be fun. Um, I don't know how much they cost, but... We could always make one, just like make a bar and put it in the center of a field or something. Venue's another thing we need to think about. Um, where are we gonna have it? <laughs> like naturally, yeah, we're thinking outside would be great, like an outside wedding. Um, do we hire like a place or do we do we use a garden or a paddock or a paddock could be fun? Yeah, we could use someone's paddock for sure. Cool. All right. That yeah, that makes sense. Maybe like a nice. With some trees and stuff where people can go and, and you know, just do stuff that people do in trees, hang out, chill, all that stuff. Cool. Yeah. Um, where's somewhere like that? Uh, somewhere in the hills, maybe. Like we'd obviously need flat land as well, but I like hills. I think hills are quite magical. Um, yeah. Let's pause on that one. Put that with the rest. I like that idea. Let's just scout around for somewhere that's sort of suits something like that. Cool. We'd also need somewhere which is quite easy to access because we need to bring everything there and take it away. Um, we need to hire, if we're doing it outside and sort of mildly remote, we need to think about toilets, um, bins, naturally. I don't want to leave any mess there. Like, that's always a big qualm of mine. Um, we need to make sure people put their rubbish away. Toilets. Uh, I, I've, yeah, that's quite simple to organise. 
um, catering, naturally. What else do we have to think about? Entertainment? Yeah, I, I have no idea. Like we could have a magician. That could be fun, some guy going around. And... Do you remember that years ago I used to um, be a waiter at like events and things? Yeah, so when I was doing that, um, oftentimes I like these houses I would do, like these pool parties I would work at. Um, there would be you know, bartenders, but there would also be like magicians floating around just like doing tricks and things. Um, there'd always be music. There was this really lovely, this girl with a really lovely voice. And um, she would do some really cool covers. She would like Valerie and, you know, uh, Sex on Fire, stuff like that. Okay, not your Okay, fine. Um, Valerie, I mean, Valerie. Great song, love it. The Zootons version, or Amy Winehouse version, or don't really mind, doesn't matter. Cool. Um, I've been listening to a lot of John Mayer recently. Let's try and book him. <laughs> Kidding. Um, uh, John Mayer, I'm loving him at the moment. A lot of his songs are great. Um, New Light, well, it's a fantastic tune. Who Says, Body is a Wonderland. Body, Body is a Wonderland is very much a first dance kind of song, I feel. Yeah. Um, so we always just get like a, a local band or something. Yeah, some great ones. I saw one a couple Christmases ago, and they did this fantastic cover of um, Killing in the Name of. Like, not traditionally a wedding song, but it's a song which everyone can just let loose to. Um, I'm sure they can play, like, you know, slower songs and, you know, slow dances and things. But also I feel like we shouldn't shy away from the party aspect of this wedding, where you've got, like, Killing in the Name of and that just absolute bops, man. Absolute bops. You know, just like proper tunes and cool. All right, a, f a first dance. You, I, yes, I mentioned it in passing, but the idea of, of doing a first dance, even now, months before we potentially were to do one, is filling me with a lot of nerves and, and, and dread. Um, you, you want to do one? Okay, that's fine. I could. Yep. Yeah. Fine. Sure. Whatever. Totally cool with it. I'll practice. I can't dance. As I said, Chandler Bing right here, just throwing the. I don't know what I am. So, okay. Let's do that then. Cool. I'll practice. You want to do the first dance to your body as a wonderland? Or another song? Or. That's a great song. Yes. Okay, cool. L is far away. Lovely song. Okay. Let's just make a short list of songs we could do our first dance to. There's a few. It doesn't even have to be like a slow one. We could do like a really like a big upbeat, like you know, um, teenage dirtbag. Always let's do it. All star. Maybe not. Okay. For point. Yeah. Well said. Well said. Um, what else could we do? Um, there's heaps of great songs. Heaps. Mr. Brightside. Okay. Um, Nine to five, great song. Dun, 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 nine to five. Yeah, I mean, let's make a short list later on. We'll just sit down and do that. Let's, that's another thing. That's that needs an entire day dedicated to choosing that song. All right, cool. Um, outfits, what we're gonna wear on the day. I don't care personally. I'm happy to wear nothing, although. That might make some people uncomfortable. So let's also think about that. I could just wear a blazer or something. I mean, just a t-shirt. I don't know. What do we wear when we met? Like, that could be a cool idea. Like we wear the same stuff we met, like, on our first date, or when we met, or like, I don't know. That's, that's, that could be fun. You know? And it also adds to something kind of special. Do you remember what you were wearing? Let's say first date, because I remember what I was wearing on our first date. Yeah, I was wearing, uh, I was wearing the burgundy chinos, um, tan boots, a black t-shirt and a black jacket. Yeah, that's pretty standard for me, <laughs> what it was back then. You were wearing jeans, tan boots as well, a sort of light flannel kind of top. I was kind of like, I remember it quite well actually. Yeah, it was, it was very nice. It was a good, looked great on you. 
So then obviously inevitably there are going to be people coming from out of town. Camping? Is camp? No, I don't know. No one wants to camp on an event like this. Like obviously camping is a lot of fun, but people are going to be dressed up nice and uh, you know, people are going to want to take off makeup or shower or um, you know go to each other's rooms. And I think we should think about that. Maybe we could look at hiring hotel rooms or motel rooms or something like oh yeah something like that I think could be fun I don't want to bill it anyone well like I don't know yeah we can incorporate like a I don't know maybe how about this so there's this cabin renting company my friend runs and you rent a cabin you can have it for a weekend a night a week and it's any length of time you want and you can put beds in there, and it's got, um, we have shower facilities as well. Okay, so that could work really well, we just sort of dot them around. And then that way in the morning everyone comes back out, and it's kind of like we're camping, but we've also slept really well, and yeah. Okay, cool. That's, that'll be fun, the morning after as well, everyone gets back together, and we could even continue the party, maybe like, keep everything going for two or three days, I don't know. Put that out there, who knows. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know what to think about it at the time. With invites, are we going to do the classic, like, post in? Yeah, we're going to have to. I mean, we'll make a Facebook event too, just, like, for people who don't check their mail or people whose address we haven't got. But I also think we should do the snail mail kind of invites for, like, wedding invitations, like, the only reason mail exists anymore. That and drugs. But, uh, and Amazon, I suppose. And eBay, oh yeah, it's e-commerce, it's kind of a big thing. But I guess drones, are too, I don't know. Yeah. So let's do that. Um, do you want to do cordially invited RSVP by a date? Yeah, let's do something like that. Cool. All right, we can make it ourselves too. Get some card, that'd be nice. You know, a couple of days, we just do an after deal weekend making those. That could be fun. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of this, a lot of the fun's going to be just getting together and doing all this stuff with you I'm really looking forward to that um are we gonna do a honeymoon do you want to talk about the honeymoon 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 maybe maybe honeymoon I don't know yeah that's that can go with the budget I I like Bora Bora but that is that's a dream yeah that Four Seasons Hotel in Bora Bora looks really cool um but they could also just do like a hiking trip or Nothing special. Doesn't need to be special. Yeah. I mean, it'd be just a nice holiday. But I don't mind not having a honeymoon. I don't know. You want a honeymoon? That's fine. I want a, I, I want a honeymoon. Obviously, it would be, be perfect, but... Yeah, it doesn't have to be, like, insane. Maybe the Swiss Alps. That could be great. No, don't, I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's put that with the other stuff for so. Um... Transportation. Yeah, I have no idea. Just cars, carpool. Do we need? Don't need a limo or anything. Um, quad bikes. That could be sick. Nah, maybe not. Quad bikes. Segways. Maybe not. Um, I don't know. Helicopter. There's so many things we could talk about with transportation. Flowers, I guess. I think you meant you meant to have flowers at a wedding, aren't you? I don't really know. Shall we get flowers? I don't know much about flowers. Yeah. What kind of flowers? Orchids. Are they flat there at weddings, right? Like whenever I see the word orchid, I always read it as orchard before correcting myself in my head. Yeah, I have to was silhouette. I used to say that was silhouette. Silhouette. I used to say. <laughs> Lingerie, lingerie. That's just I was an idiot child, and it's it sort of stayed with me in my in my later years as it aged. <laughs> yeah. All right. What about cake? Are we doing? I, we need a cake, like a big one, a big cake, like a really huge, massive cake with us on the top. 
you know, like those little figurines made of like, I don't know, candy or something. Yeah, all right, cool. Let's, yes, big, big cake. What kind of cake do you want? I like just vanilla sponge with frosting. Okay, like not like a rainbow cake or anything because they're brilliant, they're tasty. Or like a lemon cake. Not fruitcake. Nah, no, let's not do a fruitcake. Fruitcake, though. Just one request. I hate marzipan. Can we just stay away from marzipan, please? I don't understand it. I don't know why it exists. I don't know what its taste is. I just know I don't like it. Is it almonds? Someone said almonds once. It tastes nothing like almonds. It's like too... It's like almost fermented. I don't know what that is. But yeah. Cool. No marzipan. Thank you very much. It's just a weird... I'll eat it. I'll, I don't. I'll, I'll eat marzipan. Like I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna eat marzipan, but I don't. I I don't like it. I don't. I don't think I feel great about marzipan. I just don't like it. But I'll eat it. It's a weird. It's a weird relationship. I think it's. Yeah. Um. Cool. We're not okay. Cool. I think that's everything I had in my head. I think about. Probably do another one. Let's do another. Let's plan this again later, um, in a month or two maybe, because I've still got ideas. But I just wanted to run through like some of the most important stuff maybe with you. Not like important, but like you know some of the stuff that's been floating around my head recently about the wedding. Cool. Well, yeah, that's good. And obviously we've got all this stuff over here which we need to sort out. I'll write, I'll write another list and we'll go through it in a month or so. Yeah, you good for that? Cool. I'm really looking forward to this wedding. It's going to be so much fun. I'm looking forward to marrying you, obviously. That's a great outcome of this wedding. But also, it's going to be a fun wedding. I mean, if it wasn't a fun wedding, yeah, it has to be fun. It's going to be awesome. I'm really looking forward to it. Um, let's, yes. All right, cool.